Spurgeon here with RevZilla TV to talk to you about the GV Trekker Outback cases available at RevZilla.com. So the GV Trekker Outbacks are the most premium line of luggage in GV's family. What we're looking at here is a full aluminum case family that are really going to be able to handle the rigors of the road more so than the plastic cases that we've seen from GV in the past. There's a ton of different size options and way to configure here. 37, 48 liter side cases, 42, 58 liter top boxes, and really there's a bunch of different ways you can do, you can choose to set this up. Now these are gonna be aimed at riders out there pretty much in the adventure world. And the one thing to keep in mind, really where you wanna start on our bike finder is getting the right rack for your bike. GV gets a little bit confusing with their racking systems. You need the PL cam series racks to be able to mount these to your bike. If you're running a traditional PL or PLR monokey rack, it's not compatible with the Trekker Outbacks. So keep that in mind. You are looking for the PL cam system when you're searching through our bike finder. Now, as far as installation is concerned, you might recognize the Tiger behind us. This is the same Tiger from the Tiger 800 XCX bike review. I liked it so much, I ended up buying our press bike, selling one of my VFRs, and I've actually racked up about 9,000 miles so far using the Trekker Outback. To install these on the bike, it was a one out of three on our BSD, our Beard Scale of Difficulty for installation. It took me about a half an hour to get the rack installed, and once the rack is on there, honestly, it's easy on, easy off in a matter of seconds with these cases. Now we'll talk more about install at the end, but for right now, let's jump in and talk about what sets the GV Trekker Outbacks apart from some of the other cases that you might see out there on the market. Now first and foremost, GV's name is synonymous with luggage. I'd be willing to go out and say that they're probably one of the most recognized names in luggage today. From scooters to motorcycles to OEM manufacturers, these guys do it all. Now, really with the Trekker Outback, this is gonna be GV's first foray into aluminum boxes, and that's really what we're gonna see here. There's gonna be die cast aluminum cut. You're gonna have plastic inlays on the corners, again, to kind of keep those sharp edges at bay and tie it all together. And then everything is gonna be riveted together to give you a really nice clean finish that's not gonna fall apart out there on the trail. Again, the reason you're bumping up into aluminum is that it can be repaired easily. You can hammer out your dents, you can hammer out your dings. Lord knows if you can find someone that can actually weld aluminum, if you had to, you can weld it back together. Although we all know it's super hard to find people that actually know how to weld aluminum, it is a possibility for you. Now you'll notice there's two different colorways. I've got the top box on my right hand side. This is gonna be the plain silver aluminum, and this is gonna be a really nice clean look that a lot of riders appreciate. I like the blacked out version, and that's what you're gonna see here on my left hand side. And it's gonna give you a nice clean line to the overall look, in my opinion. But again, both options are available. Now let's start by breaking down the side cases, and then we'll move our way over to the top box. So like I said, there's two different sizes available, and there's two different ways you can configure this. 37 and 48 liters are the two sizes for the cases. Now on my Tiger, I went with two 37 liter cases. I like the symmetry of the look. Now for a lot of riders out there, what they like to do is if you have an exhaust can running down one side, you put the bigger box, the 48 liter, on the side without the exhaust, and the side with the exhaust, you would run with a 37 liter. Again, it just allows you to configure how you want your weight to sit on the motorcycle. Now one of the really nice things about this is you take a look, it's the latching system for the top. It's a top loading box, and if you want to be out there on the road, you simply open it up. It's a nice hinge system, allows you to access your gear without having to worry about the whole top coming off. And you can let go of it. It holds in place really nicely done. Now, for those of you out there, when you're loading it up, push a button on the back and the whole top comes off. You simply remove these mounting straps and you can load it with ease when you're prepping for your trip without having to worry about the hinge system kind of closing on you. Put it back together, all you have to do is slide this back into place, push the button again, and it closes shut. It's that simple. Now one of the other things to note is unlike some of the other boxes that you're gonna see out there in the aluminum family, GV has a new mounting system. You're simply gonna turn the key, you're gonna pull the little snap over here on the back of the box, and the case simply falls off. To put it back on, you're just gonna slide it into two pins on the bottom, and snap it shut. It's really a super simple system. 
Now, I will say, I've been using this for about three, three and a half months at this point, and I've had no issues. The one concern I do have is that I could see some potential problems with that mounting system. If you get out there, you get in some deep sand, it might not be as smooth as some of the other mounting systems we've seen from other manufacturers, but at this point, it's worked absolutely flawless for me. So, the other final note for these top boxes is you're gonna see they have tie down points that are riveted onto the top of the box. These are super functional. I have a couple sets of rack straps that I keep with me, and I use this to kind of just tie down extra bags on top, or it really works out great for me latching down my tripod for my camera, so I have that as an easy access point for when I'm out snapping photos on the road. Again, I like the fact that these are added onto the box already. Now, moving over to the top box on my right-hand side. This is gonna be the smaller of the two sizes. There's gonna be two sizes for the top box, a 42 liter and then a giant behemoth 58 liter box. Now, whenever you're adding a top box to your lineup, the one thing you wanna consider is the weight. The smaller box comes in around 13 pounds, where the bigger box is gonna jump you up to 16 pounds. So just keep in mind, anytime you're gonna add that much weight to the top of the back of your bike, it is gonna affect the handling a little bit. As far as storage on these boxes are concerned, Again, same mounting system, you know, do one key, clicks open. Everybody always likes to talk about storage capacity in the lines of full face helmets. With the smaller box, the 42 liter, you're gonna be able to fit one full face helmet in here. If you decide to bump up to the 58 liter, you're gonna be able to fit two full face helmets. Again, that bigger box is simply a behemoth. Now the one thing to note and how the top boxes differ from the side is how it mounts to the actual motorcycle. Like I talked about in the beginning, we're looking at a one out of three on our BSD, or beard scale difficulty for installation for getting the racks installed on the motorcycle. The biggest difference between the two boxes is like I said, PL cam racks are required for your GV side cases in the Trekker Outback series. So you need to make sure you're using the correct rack, otherwise you're gonna be highly disappointed when you get everything mounted to your bike and then you can't install your bags. I can't say this enough, I know it's a little bit confusing sometimes when you're looking at GV stuff, but you need the PL cam racks. It takes about a half an hour to install. You have two main mounting points on the bottom, two main mounting points on top, and again, it varies a little bit per bike, but it took me about a half an hour to install this on the Tiger. Now, with the top cases, you're gonna use a traditional mono key rack for this. So if you already have a regular mono key rack on your bike, nothing varies for the top box. Again, if you don't already have one, there's two different options for getting this installed. You can get an adapter plate. So I installed this on our F800 GS here in the studio, and I already had an alt rider plate on there. There was a GV adapter plate, which actually fits onto the alt rider, and I'm able to install this easily with my existing rack on the back. If you don't have a rack on the back of your bike, you're gonna need to use the bike finder and find a GV mono key rack, either a PL or a PLR rack, that'll work to mount this to your motorcycle. Now, there are a ton of folks out there rocking GV luggage on their bikes. I happen to be one of them. If you wanna hear what other riders have to say, click the info button. Read what other riders are digging about the GV setups they have installed on their motorcycles. If you have questions for us, never hesitate. Get us on the phone, give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at revzola.com. Thank you for joining us for this look at the GV Trekker Outback side cases and top cases. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.